Hey guys, welcome to another video. Chris here once again. Um, so I thought I would make a video on something that I get asked quite a fair bit these days, uh, both from people looking to get into improving themselves with women, um, past clients, potential future clients, uh, even some people from the media have started reaching out to me and they're asking me, Chris, what the hell is going on in Melbourne? Uh, now, if you look online, there are some things about this, about women being approached too much. Uh, there are some things in forums. Yeah, there are some things on social media. Um, no matter how many times, no, no matter how much I try to stay sort of underground and out of all that bullshit, uh, yeah, obviously people come to me for answers because, you know, that's, that's my industry in, in Melbourne. So I guess I'm going to try and summarize everything. And if this is a concern for you, I'm going to try and give you some points that will keep you out of that, that won't have you approaching girls creepily on the street, that won't have girls running home to write blog articles about you, uh, so that you can continue or even start meeting women through the day, which, you know, if you're unaware, is an amazing way to meet uh, girlfriends, girls you just want to date, even hookups, travelers, whatever. So I'm going to give you some tips that can allow you to continue or start that while staying out of the whole uh, look, let's put it this way. If I'm approaching a girl through the day, for the most part, she doesn't really know because it's, an, because it's very natural, it's very sort of under the radar. You know, I'm not jumping in front of her in, on the fucking street and making a big spectacle of it. So she doesn't necessarily know that it's even an approach. I'm just, a, you know, I'm a guy going about his day and now we happen to be in a conversation. So for better or for worse, Melbourne has been kind of a hub for guys getting involved in this. I believe that that is because there was a huge movement. There was a huge movement in this area from about 2005. Uh, I got started uh, in Melbourne in 2006. Um, and all the way through till about 2000, it was this big thriving community of guys looking to help each other improve in this area. Now that's definitely since died off and various other groups have uh, been created. Some have died off, some have continued, but there are kind of groups within groups within groups in Melbourne of guys who, look, they're not bad guys at all. Just guys who are interested in this. I believe how some of them go about it is not, look, I'm not gonna say, so, you know, I'm not gonna get into the whole sort of ethics and stuff behind it, but it's just, they could go about it in a much better uh, way. So, you know, perhaps if there are any girls watching this, very, very few, if any of these guys are malicious uh, and they have bad intentions. They're just trying to improve. They're just trying to, look, they're trying to meet women. You know, they're trying to get girlfriends. They're trying to improve themselves. They want what women want men to have, you know, confidence. Um, you know, they don't want to be creepy. They, they, they just want to get to that end goal, but they're not really sure how. So they're trying a bunch of different things, um, you know, and for some women, you happen to be on the receiving end of those guys trying those things. And I understand it can get fucking annoying if you've been approached, you know, five times in a week. I used to date a girl who would get approached five times in a day, you know. So look, some, guy, some girls find this rather inspiring, you know. Some girls, when uh, my clients approach, even if they're not interested, they'll be like, damn, this is awesome. More men need to do this. Um, whereas other girls, and especially if they are working in the city and they're dealing with this all the time, it gets annoying slash creepy. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to address here. So why is this happening? Well, when you think about it, it really only takes 10, 20 guys out there approaching regularly to have an impact, you know, although Melbourne has what, four or five million people in it, the city doesn't have that many. You know, this is the city, how do I put that in a way? It's got the same people in there day after day working their job. So if 10, 20, 30 guys are out approaching regularly, um, going out and trying to make this happen, even say twice a week, you're gonna reach saturation point much faster than you think. See, people think Melbourne, enormous city, never run out of options, can run around, do anything, can approach anyone I want. Reality is it's the same people in the CBD all the time. So although you've not approached her before, or perhaps you have once or twice and you've forgotten, which we've all been guilty of, um, 
other guys have approached her as well. And the main issue here, the number one issue here, well, not the number one issue, but I believe the main issue is that guys are using the same fucking opener. Guys are using the same conversation starter. And it's always something along the lines of, I just saw you, I thought you were cute, and I'd come say hi. Now look, that is still to this day one of my favorite uh, ways to start a conversation with a girl. When you really feel it, when you really mean it. Like if you're walking up the street and you see a girl that really sort of takes your breath away, I love that open. I love that, that I'm sorry, I had to come and meet you. I love that. Some girls hate it, some girls fucking love it. If it feels comfortable for you, it's an amazing opener. But where guys are getting in trouble is that they've got that somewhere, either from online or even from a my, some of my stuff or other advice, uh, other coaches, whatever. And they're running around and they're saying this exact same opener to 10, 20 women a weekend, you know? So again, if they're doing 10, 20 approaches like a, a weekend, which I, I think is too many to start with, but on top of that, they're using the same opener and then you've got another 18, 19 guys out doing the same thing, you can see why this is becoming a problem. So I know when I'm coaching guys, I would much, much rather them look at the girl, take a minute to observe, like why do they wanna to talk to the girl? What is it about her? Something specific, maybe they've something, noticed something about her, like whatever it is, use her, use your environment to start a much more natural, conversation rather than, you know, ra rather than taking the opener or the approach or the uh, conversation starter and applying it to, the, to every single situation, look at every single situation and then create your opener, create what you want to say to her so that it's natural, so that it's unique. Now, another factor here, and this is probably going to get me some dislikes on this video, but I, you know, game is not enough. Just because you can approach girls, it's not enough. You know, it's not enough. There are so many facets at, at play here. And, you know, if you get just, you know, your average Joe next door who is still working on his confidence and maybe he's still working on his appearance so that he's, you know, he's still working on becoming more attractive. If he's out there approaching model, 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 and again, you times that by 10, 15, 20 guys out doing the same, that gets really annoying for girls. Like, I really do believe that girls love to be approached, especially through the day in a nice, natural setting. Um, but the key is that they want it to happen by guys that they're actually interested in, but guys that, they're, the guys that they want to date. And I believe that a lot of guys out uh, doing this, they're just not quite you know, there yet. I don't even know what there yet means. Um, interpret this for yourself. I guess like, you know, if you're a really, really beautiful girl and you've got all your shit together and you work in a clothes store in the city and yet you're getting approached five times a day by guys that you're not attracted to, fuck oath that would become annoying. Not to mention that a lot of guys are really uncalibrated. And again, I'm not trying to be mean and I'm absolutely not trying to deter anyone from doing this. I fucking coach this stuff. Um, so of course I'm not trying to stop you from doing it. I'm just trying to get you to understand where women are coming from and why more and more women are finding this annoying and how you can stay out of that. You know, uh, another, another factor is calibration, social calibration, you know. I've coached some guys in the past who they legitimately do believe that they can approach any woman, anywhere, anytime, and that game trumps everything. That if you can approach a girl and if you can do it in a confident way, doesn't matter if she's eating lunch with a friend, doesn't matter if she's running to a train, you know, game will trump everything. And that is absolute horseshit. In my opinion, this is all my opinion, discount it if you like, hate this video, whatever, that's fine. Um, I'm just saying, you know, I've obviously been doing this for a very long time. I've spoken to a lot of guys and a lot of girls and I've seen all of this emerge. So I'm just saying what I believe the, the problem is and how you can avoid it. Another key factor is the persistence thing. Now, for this, I'm actually not blaming any guys. For this, I'm blaming a fuck ton of really bad advice out there in uh, the, the dating world. Uh, that You know, the, the pickup books and the dating forums and all this sort of stuff. Um, there's this concept of like persistence and of course you obviously have to be persistent to, to, to meet a girl, to woo a girl, to seduce a girl, whatever it might be. They want that as well, you know. But 
you know, you, you need to read those levels of interest. If a girl's not interested in you, don't think that you can just like persist and escalate it and touch her on the arm and no, like there needs to be a morsel of interest in order for you to be persistent. So in a nutshell, how can you be that awesome guy that goes out, meets women through the day and makes their day, you know, makes it a good experience for them and for you and you end up meeting and dating awesome girls from the street or the bookstore or the supermarket or where, whatever it might be. Here are some quick points. One, mix up where you go out. You don't always have to go to the CBD. You can go to Chapel Street. You can go to Chadston. You can go to shopping malls. You, you know, obviously the city has a much more condensed volume of people, rah, rah, rah. But like, mix it up a little bit. Two, mix up your opener. Stop running around and saying the exact same conversation starter to every girl. They know, they know, you know. If you've said the same thing 20, 30, 40, 50 times and you're saying it to the next girl, dude, there's a very, very, very high chance that you're, you're there's no emotion in that opener. You know, it just, it sounds scripted. And, you know, if you're approaching a girl on the street or through the day in a super or a store or something like that, her guard is understandably already going to be high. So if she picks up that she's part of some game because she knows straight away that you've said that opener to another hundred women, that guard goes up even higher. And then, you know, you persist because that's what you think you have to do. And it becomes an awkward as fuck situation. Three numbers. Like if you're approaching dozens and dozens, dozens, <laughs> dozens and dozens of women on the street and you're not getting anything back, that's an indication that something needs to change. You're not doing something properly. Now, of course, when you're first starting out, you have to learn this, you have to develop it, you have to understand um, social rules and, and women and how they respond to you and you're gonna start picking up patterns. So you obviously have to do this a lot. But beyond that initial stage, if you've been doing this for months or even years and you're still out there approaching dozens of women, um, and, and you're not getting anything back, something's not working, man. Something's not working. If you've been doing this for, a, for more than a few months and you still have to approach 10, 20 girls in order to get a good response, dude, that, that, sh that should be way higher. That, you know, you should, you should be getting more positivity back for that amount of approaches. So I really don't think that the, that the um, I mentioned this in my book as well. And so it might sound like I'm counter, you know, th that you do have to do a lot of this to get good at it. So I might sound a little uh, counter, you know, counter myself here. Um, but numbers aren't always the answer. Just going out to approach more and more women, it's not the answer if you're doing it incorrectly. And again, incorrectly in my opinion, other people would disagree with this, whatever. But I mean, you need to ask yourself that. If you're having to do dozens of approaches in order to get a, a, a good response, there's something about you that needs work. There's something about your opener that needs work. It might even just be the smallest of things. You know, I've, I've taken guys for day sessions before and they've gotten dreadful uh, responses and I've just taken them to a store and had them change their shoes or buy some clothes or whatever. Uh, and that has changed it. I've had other guys before where they're, what they're thinking about how they need to approach is so fucked up. So the first hour of the session will be me trying to figure out, dude, why do you think this? Like when you're approaching a girl, why is this stuff in your head? Tweak that, much better responses, you know? So sometimes it's not a complete overhaul. You just need to tweak a few small things. For like sort of know where you're at, you know? If you're new to this and you, you, you know, you don't get any interest from females in your social circle or anything like this and you're out there approaching like, you know, only the tens. Like it's dumb. Like you gotta kinda know where you're at. You gotta kinda keep things a little bit real. Um, and this is what I've done over the years with, with my own coaching. Like slap some of the pickup shit out of guys and kept it a bit more real because the reality is if a guy's out there approaching tens, 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 tens for three years, I promise you that guy's going to be considerably happier from just meeting a, a nice girl next door that's kind of within his realm and he ends up dating her and having a great relationship and great sex life and all that because I've seen this happen so many times. I've seen, and I'm not telling you to settle. I'm not telling you to lower your standards or any of that fucking horse shit. I just think that a lot of guys can't interpret like their own ego stuff in this. And I've been guilty of this myself, you know, especially as a coach, it's, you know, it can fuck with your head. But 
I guess what I'm sort of saying is like, there's a nice cute girl sitting next to you in Fed Square or something and you're both watching a fucking juggler. Do that. Five, if she's not keen, walk away. Like, you, 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 you don't, fuck this whole plowing persistence thing. Now, obviously there's a balance here because I've coached many guys in the past who will approach a girl, ask how her day is, she'll respond really well and he'll come back to me and say like, oh no, she wasn't, she wasn't interested. So sometimes, you know, your own uh, mental shortcomings, your own sort of self-value issues can arise in that situation and fuck things up for yourself. I see this all the time. It's actually really common and really common in uh, younger guys, especially. Um, so sometimes you, you know, I guess what I'm saying is you need to notice patterns and really ask yourself, okay, where am I at with this girl? Is this girl shy but interested? Is this girl being nice but trying to get away? Watch her feet. Where are her feet pointed at? Is she giving you very, very short answers? Is she maybe looking at her phone? Is she saying things like, oh, okay, well, it's nice to meet you, and then you keep talking? You've got to be aware of these because not only are you fucking things up for her, you're fucking things up for yourself because you're wasting time on this girl who isn't interested when the very next girl that you talk to might love you, might be the one, might be the fucking game changer. Look, when you do improve this, you really, really, really do shine ahead of the crowd because a lot of women, especially women sort of, you know, occupying Melbourne CBD, you know, if you're approaching in a way that's fresh and natural and fun, as opposed to the same scripted thing that she's heard a hundred times before, you're really gonna shine it. You're really gonna like shine above the crowd. So I hope that's helped. Um, if you need any more specifics on that, check out my website. I've got a free video, I've got a book, I've got coaching services, everything you need. But if that's not for you, I hope that this video has maybe given you a little bit more direction and something to think about when you're out there, especially the Melbourne guys, um, obviously uh, a large part of my channel and my audience are Melbourne guys, but I mean, this could be a, a situation for you as well, whether you're in another city in Australia or another city in the world. So yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.